What is up everybody, Logan here again with another video and today I'm going to talk about how I made around $1,500 to $1,700 sports betting. I have to do all the math in this video. And one day, and this was on the NBA play-in games, I'm a huge fan of the NBA, especially NBA playoff time. A lot of star players try to show out, shine. Uh, Trey Young was a big part of this, uh, as well as, you know, the Pelicans coming back as well. So we'll go through everything, but first we're going to start here. Down at the first free bet, so a lot of these are free bets, and I got these for playing blackjack this weekend, which was really nice. There was like wager a certain amount of money on blackjack, and I was able to make money playing, and then I threw some free bets on. What I'm gonna do here is take you guys step by step. First, I got a free $5. I put that on the Hawks money line. The odds are minus 135. So you guys can see I did this prior to the game. I placed this trade, trade, at 12.45, and the really nice thing about it was it was just a free $5 bet. I was really bullish on the Hawks money line. They're in Cleveland, but you know, it is what it is, right? I still think the Hawks money line was where the good value was, they were favored. Then we can go up here to Clint Capella, over 12 and a half points. This was a $10 free bet. Really sad news, he actually got hurt before halftime and was not able to finish the game. He was on pace to beat this. And then it also plays into a bigger a bigger bet that I had later in the day too. You know, which would have been really nice if it worked out, but sometimes it just doesn't. So I appreciate if you guys took some time right now to leave a like on this video, uh, if it's been super helpful to you. Thank you guys for leaving a like. And then also check the links below if you wanna sign up for FanDuel or DraftKings and also Bet Rivers. the links are below to do that. Those are just some sports books, use my link, you get a bunch of free money for doing it as well. So if you have yet to sign up for a sports book, do that down below. And then we also have the Discord where we give out our plays and, we can, and you can take part in our 15 unit challenge as well. So now back to the video. With Trey Young, over 41 and a half points and assists, I felt really good about this, although he only had 12 going into halftime. It was either 11 or 12, but he put the whole team on his back in the second half. So that 25 paid 22.70. Then I lost on Darius Garland. He had just missed this by a couple points. It was points and assists. I think he finished with about 32 points and assists combined. Then we have one of the bigger bets of the night. This is Hawks minus one and a half and Pelicans money line. Uh, $100 free bet paid 272. The odds for the Pelicans money line were minus 110. I took this after we found out that Paul George was not gonna be playing for the Clippers that night. So the Clippers were eliminated and the Pelicans were able to move on um, to the next round. So that's one of my free bets, paid 272. And this is my 250 free bet. This was Clint Capella, he had eight points going into halftime, but he was hurt. He got hurt with like 30 seconds to go at half. This would have paid $600 roughly, his plus 240 on a 250 free bet. So that was about a $600 payout, I think it was like 620-ish. Um, and Kevin Herter hit his points, Karis LeVert went under like I expected, and then Clint got hurt sadly, and he was averaging around 14 points lately. So it's just super sad to see, right? Left the game eight points so tough uh, could have had a really nice win there but that's the thing when you're betting player props is and, and you know from experience if a player gets hurt it's just out of your control and it's a bad beat it's just not good luck and it happens right like that's just part of you know sports betting especially if you're doing player props which is one of my absolute favorite ways to bet uh, and then we can see here i took this bet live with a hundred dollar free bet that i had uh, minus 1100 on the Panthers. They were up three to zero at this point. They end up winning six to one. Took the Angels money line against the Rangers. Really good value. And then the Rockies actually stuck a comeback. Or they had a comeback against the Cubs to win six to five. So we had a nice 260 payout there off a hundred dollar free bet. And then I put 25 of that at some point in the middle of the game. Uh, the Hawks had the ball, so that's why the odds were minus 195. And I think they missed, but then the Cavs missed. They got the ball back and then scored. So it was just with 25 bucks, playing it really small, made 12.82 in profit. Um, so it was a really nice little trade there. And then I took the Hawks money line. They were down, uh, I think it was down five points at this time. And I put a big $400 wager on it because I was just that confident. I got plus 135 on it. Trey Young is a big star. The Cavaliers have been known to choke the game towards the end. And Trey Young is just so clutch. You know, I had him with his points. There's just something about Trey Young that I really like, and I think he's just a really good star. They end up winning the game by six. 
So there's really good value there. The spread at the time was plus four and a half if I didn't take the money line. So I just thought there was really good value there. So I ended up sticking with the what my gut told me, which is take the money line. They're down, and that was for a nice $540 profit right there. So my thought process was just looking at the probabilities, how the Hawks finish out playoff games. They generally keep them close. They were only down four points or five when I took this. So it was a really nice payout there. Then if we go to the Pelicans plus seven and a half, what's crazy is I wagered 600 on this. I took this live as well. They actually won the game by four. Um, so plus seven and a half basically meant that as long as they didn't lose by eight or more, I was pretty confident in that. Now, I, I didn't think they would have won because if so, I could have put my 600 at plus 400 on the money line. That would have paid $3,000 on a $600 wager. So I was like, let me just take the point spread. I really don't care if they lose. You know, I have my other free bet that had money on it, but I was cool with, you know, wagering 600 bucks. That paid $1,145.45, which was my big bet of the night. And then the Nuggets were the next night. So we're gonna leave that off. Uh, it was a nice little bet there, but um, as you guys can see the bet slip, you can see I placed that trade live as well, or that bet live at 12.14 in the morning Eastern time. Uh, there was about six or seven minutes to go in the game and it was an eight point game. So I took plus seven and a half. I really thought the Pelicans were gonna pull it off. The Clippers didn't have Paul George. And you're also going to remember the Pelicans were minus two going into the game once Paul George was announced that he wasn't playing. Vegas doesn't like to give free money away. Paul George not playing. I felt very confident in the Pelicans covering plus seven and a half. I took that live. And there's a really cool statistic. 80% of basketball games uh, are within 10 points or less. So I thought this was really good value, especially when this team was favored to win the game going into it. Even though it was in L.A., um, I just think the Pelicans are a much better team than the Clippers, and it showed tonight. So what we're going to do now is go to the calculator. We're going to type in all of these free bets that won, and we're going to see how much money I made betting sports on just one day, which was April 15th. It was all NBA play-in play games, and then a couple MLB games thrown in there. So we'll go to the calculator. Atlanta Hawks, money line 370. And we're going to add 2272 to 370 which comes out to 26.42. Then we're gonna scroll up to the next win, which is paying out 272.72. So we're gonna add 272.72, which comes out to almost $300 so far. Then we had the free bet that just missed that could have added 600 bucks to this. Um, but we're gonna be down here. We made 260 on this pick. So we're gonna add 260. So we're up to $560 sports betting. Then we're gonna add 12.82, that's off the Hawks. 1282, so we're at 571.96. Then the Hawks money line for a nice 540 in profit there. So we're at 1,111. And then to wrap the night out, uh, we had the Pelicans plus seven and a half that we took live, and we're gonna add that here. So that looks like a payout of about $500, 40, or $545. And what is that, 45 cents? Yep, 45 cents. So we made $1,657 in one day just betting sports. Super good, not risking a bunch of money. I risked a little bit, had a lot of free bets in there, uh, and just took a lot of good value, right? Whatever Vegas was giving me, I followed my gut and the statistics before the game, and knowing that like, hey, the Hawks were minus one and a half going into this, there's a good shot that they stake a comeback, so let's take some money line at plus money see how this works out, and they just took over uh, to end the game. And then same with how the Pelicans played, right? I should have taken the money line, I could have. The risk to reward though was really good on the plus seven and a half. We knew it would be a close game. Most of these playoff games are really close towards the end. Now, if you're like, Logan, you're lying. That's not true. Not all of the games are close. You're probably watching a one and an eight seed or a two and a seven. But if we're looking at four and five and three and six games, those games are typically within 10 points. Uh, the Nets and Celtics even had a really close game and they're a two and seven seed. So that's something to pay attention to. Come the rest of the NBA season, as far as the playoffs go, and then also the MLB game. So really good day, if you'd ask me, 1,657. Just identifying value, taking spreads, taking money lines, and I've actually had more fun sports betting than even trading the market lately, because the market's just been manic. 
So really excited to see where we go from here and I'm hoping I can continue to keep this up and stay successful with it. So there are three games on tonight. As you guys can see, the Raptors and 76ers. We have the Jazz and Mavericks. And then we also have the Nuggets Warriors. They start at 7.30 Eastern time today. Um, I like the Raptors plus seven and a half. I also like the Mavericks plus, se plus five and I like the Nuggets plus seven. Now I'm a Nuggets fan, so that's more of like an emotional pick, uh, just in general. I just think there's good value there. Uh, I don't, I'll, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna take today, but I am gonna make some picks later tonight, and uh, you can find some picks in the Discord for me for tonight's games, of course, so feel free to join below. You guys can come join the challenge. It's only 30 bucks a month. Just, we look for value, we give you guys good data, and that's pretty much it with the Discord. We have Income in there, Income Guru from the Discord. He has a system that he gives picks out from that has been doing very well lately. And then we have the people in there as well. So it's been a really fun time and I look forward to uh, continuing to grow our community around sports betting as well, just because there's so much opportunity and sports betting and stock trading is so similar. Uh, if you just look at it right, you're basically gambling in both and it's just focusing on that risk to reward, where is the value, and then taking the value once you've identified it. So that's gonna be everything for me in this video. Make sure you guys check the links down below in the description. You get free money for signing up for these apps if you haven't before, so uh, definitely hop on that. Get a free bet, or maybe you get you know a nice free spin, depending on what apps you sign up for. So that's gonna be everything for me in this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.